Hey guys, welcome back to Little Mountain Life. We have a lot going on, and yes, we are finally getting back to working inside of our house. Trying to make the final push to finish the inside of this house before the summer really kicks in here. You might remember that we had an issue with our insulation, and that was, I don't know, a couple months ago now, where we realized that we didn't have thick enough spray foam insulation on the inside of the walls. It was creating issues with moisture building up on the inside of the walls. So we actually still have the fiberglass rolls still rolled up. So uh, we're gonna bring those rolls down. We're gonna take the craft paper off the front of them. And then we're gonna bring the rest of the shiplap down from the loft area and finish off the wall. And we also have an update on our deck since we failed the last inspection. So let's go outside and talk about that real quick. All right, so we're back out on the deck and a couple of videos ago, we talked about how we failed our most recent deck inspection. We had issues with the steps not being permanently mounted to the deck. And we also had an issue with a piece of railing that I guess was missing from the overall build. So we took care of that. We fixed the steps and we put up the railing. Uh, All that went well, all things considered. The inspector came back out, passed the inspection. So now the deck is done, done. Don't have to worry about it anymore. Don't have to finish any inspections. So we can get back to work inside the house. All right guys, back inside. We need to get to work on this kitchen wall. But first, coffee. A cup of coffee in the morning And I get the paper I check the headlines And decide that I am bored I check my email and I decide to answer later Another cup of coffee and I drag myself to work My life is grounded in a firm routine of coffee, sleep and work I am not boring, I just stick to what I know That's better. Before we get started, our mugs, our Little Mountain Life mugs, are now for sale. These mugs are made by Tori and her team at Two Ridges Pottery. They are out in Tennessee uh, making beautiful pottery, mugs, plates, all sorts of stuff. If you go on their website now, click on shop, you can scroll down and you will find our Little Mountain Life mugs. They are the blue gray ones, not this black one, but these are great mugs. The quality is outstanding and they just look beautiful. So check it out. Get back to work! I'm at work and I realized I forgot to wake up. I can't be productive when I'm dreaming about a sheep. I go upstairs and get myself another cup of coffee. I get downstairs and then I spill it on the floor. Well, my life is grounded in a firm routine of coffee, sleep, and work. I am not boring. You guys ever uh, start a project and get completely ahead of yourselves and realize you need to start over again? That's me right now. What you just saw was not me reversing the footage. What you saw was me putting up shiplap 
for our kitchen wall and then having to take it back down because I'm a rookie home builder. <laughs> it's no big deal. I mean, it, it kind of is. Our kitchen is torn apart. Um, we ordered pizza yesterday because we didn't want to deal with cooking in this chaos. You know, I got fiberglass dust coming down everywhere. It's just nuts. And the construction zone living continues on. It is what it is. So the reason why I had to take all the stuff off the wall is because I'm a dum dum and forgot that I need to place my floating shelf anchors, these guys, in place. Two days ago, I went to downtown Front Royal on Main Street to the Front Royal Build Works. It's a great woodworking shop. Uh, Mac is the guy there. He, he's actually the one that sold us our big slab for our table that Kenny at Life on Beagle Road is making for us. So I knew he had some good wood there for us to use. And I went and picked that up and I realized A, that it was gonna be a lot more work to do that. Um, I'm gonna have to fill in some spots with some like epoxy resin and whatnot, which I've really never done before. And B, that sucker is heavy. That is some heavy wood, it's an oak slab. And I had to double check that my specs for the floating shelf brackets uh, were enough to hold that load. So I just ordered more of these brackets because it turns out I'm gonna need six per shelf to make sure I'm really supporting the weight. So I'm going to actually, in the next vlog I'll show you guys, I'm gonna to have to put in some blocking in between my studs because they're 24 inch spacing and that's fine unless you're trying to put a very heavy 100 pound floating shelf in its place. So we're gonna put some blocking there and then we'll mount these and then we'll put the ship lap back up and get the kitchen put back together. So a little frustrating, the common theme with our build, two steps forward, one step backwards. It's just, it is what it is. Hopefully I can get this moving forward a little bit faster. I need to go pick up the girls from school. So uh, we will see you guys on the next vlog, hopefully with more progress.